He's stuck. Another day, another recovery. So Hillbilly and Steve got the Badlands winch mounted and we're gonna head to Maverick, get all of our stuff that we didn't have on the last video, like ice and more water and some snacks. So we didn't expect to be on the mountain for eight and a half hours the last video, but that's how long it took us to get up there, do our recon. We ended up pulling the truck up, getting it unstuck, turning it around, and for hours and hours and hours got that two-wheel drive Dodge as far up the road as we could get it. It was insane. Never, ever, ever take a two-wheel drive Dodge down a 50-inch trail that's restricted to anything bigger than a four-wheeler. Anyway, we're gonna go up today. We've got the Trekker on back and we're gonna get that thing out and get it back to the shop. Did you already put gas in, get gas for the Dodge? Yeah, we've got gas jugs even for that truck so it doesn't run out. So we gotta make sure that the Trekker's full of gas. We've got two gas jugs in the back and the tow truck still has fuel. All right, we are gonna be prepared today. We're bringing enough water so we can stay up there for days, hopefully. All right, so we stopped and picked up my friend Colton. He's gonna come and help today, and then we picked up Steve. So Steve parked the trash truck on the side of the road. We picked him up. So we got five of us going in this little baby trekker, but it should do it. We've got this brand new Badlands 12,000 pound Apex winch. We're gonna be using this to pull that truck up and hopefully to get it out today. No more struggling. Well, it'll struggle because it's a two wheel drive. But the reason we struggled so hard yesterday is we were using a 2,500 pound worn winch on the front of the Can-Am. Now 2,500 pounds, a four to one, you're gonna be what, eight? So about 10,000 pounds of pulling pressure, which is good. But this winch back here without any, without any pulleys and without any snatching, it's gonna pull 12,000 pounds. So we should be perfectly fine with this, but I'm super impressed with the Can-Am because it did exactly what we needed it to until Hillbilly broke it. Can-Am's gonna need a couple new axle shafts. It'll be good to go. But that's why we're bringing the Trekker because we need to go get that thing recovered and we don't wanna have any more issues. And I think we're ready to go. This is the most people that's ever been in this since I've owned it. Well, this is a five person vehicle, so let's go five grown adult vehicle. Yeah, we only have we only have 14 miles of this. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. Need a different carburetor. I didn't do an offline map before we left. So my Onyx won't pull up. So make sure you remember that stuff. Or we're gonna have to have memory on where to turn. But I think I remember. I remember because it's close. We drive right past one of the campsites, something like family campsite up here. So I know how to get there, just the other turnoffs. Yeah, and then we go past the Sterling turnoff. We'll be good. You may or may not remember the last video where we got to a point where we could not get past a rock on the Pinchot Trail. So right here is where the guy entered the Pinchot Trail. We're going to show you this, what they had to go through in order to get on this ATV trail. So right here is a four-wheeler trail. So literally this is how they had to take their two-wheel drive Dodge to bypass the spikes in the road. So I'm going down a pretty steep hill right now. You can see those losers are staying at the top. They're scared. You know, I'm gonna get down here and show you guys the trailhead. So in order to bypass the spikes, they had to come down this big old steep incline right here. Now these are designed to puncture tires if you try to go around them. They're put in by the US Forest Service so that only a 50 inch vehicle, which is ATVs, can fit through the center of it. This is a man-made bypass. Do not go down that in your two-wheel drive Dodge 1500 
with bald tires or any vehicle of that matter or you'll be in the situation we're in today about a block this way is where we got the truck to the point where we couldn't get it passed with the equipment we had that's when hillbilly decided to break two axle shafts on the can-am and we went back down to the fork of the road and went up a different trail this is where we're at on the Arapine trail map well at least we know where we're at on the map right there's so my family's can't read. nice okay well, we're gonna get up, find our turn off, and get to this truck. So I know exactly where to turn, because uh, on the recovery, when we left to go back and get the trucker, as soon as I seen the main, I got on the main road, I done a donut. There's three. <laughs> Hey, Hillbilly. Yeah. Are you concerned at all about the Trekker's paint job? No, because we came out on this road, so I know it's cleared enough of trees and rocks to where it won't get scratched. Are you concerned about Trekker's paint job? I'm concerned about a lot of things because it's a uh, really tiny trail. We're in a really tiny vehicle. That is true. I'm concerned. Are you at all concerned yet? Now that these trees are rubbing your beautiful paint job? I got what you call Rocky Mountain pinstriping. Oh, push them out of the way. Hey, Robbie, did you what? remember to roll up the windows? <laughs> no, I was too frustrated. So what you're saying is that uh, some critters could have got in there. All right, so we've made it back to the trail. We don't even know which one it is, but we'll be to the truck here in a second, unless somebody stole it, but I don't think they did. Robbie, what? I know they did, because they we couldn't get it out of here. So how would they? You have a very valid point. Let's go. There she is. There she is, just stucker than stuck. There she is, all stuck in her stucky stuck glory. All right, you should be locked in. Um, you're gonna want to come right here, hillbilly. And very gently, just go all the way off and all the way back up. Yes, we got wind chips. Your back is not moving. <clears throat> we might be up Crap Creek again. <clears throat> ah! Whoa, hold it there. So one thing that we just realized, there's no lockers in the trekker. So Hillbilly high marked that little hill. Um, if all else fails, we'll pull the Dodge backwards, but what our plan is is to get up ahead of it and use the Badlands 12,000 pound winch and pull the truck forward. But now we got a new problem. We got to get Hillbilly back up in front of it. Well, I can get back up. Okay, then do it. Come up right here. Just right. don't break anything. So don't break it because it's our way out. One good thing is that's a receiver style winch. So if we have to, we'll put it in that truck. It won't start, and I'm thinking it's because the manual fuel pump is so weak. You want the wire unhooked as soon as it starts? No, I've got to leave it hooked up. Also, it's that good. Yeah. Okay. Hold Yay! He got it. All right, now just don't break it. Going in the hole. Hey, all the way driver. Oh, whoa, whoa. Work. Whoa, go forward. 
Alright, so I'm going to have Hillbilly just go up as high as he can and we're going to string the winch line out and just pull this thing because we don't want to get in any more situations. So. Okay, whoa, right there! Alright, so we're going to string this out and then we're gonna get our winch line extension. We're thinking the 75 feet might be too long, so we're just gonna take everything. And we're gonna try to use straps and some extensions. If not, we've got the 75 foot winch extension. Robbie, do you think this will be strong enough single? Yeah. Okay. Look at that! Plenty. We got El Plentio. So I'm gonna soft shackle it. Then before we pull it, show you guys what we were actually stuck on. So when I came backwards, because this wouldn't make it up, because the tires are so bald, and it's a two-wheel drive. I backed up and the bumper's stuck in a ditch. So we're just gonna winch this all the way up this little portion and get to the top and hopefully we can drive this puppy out of here. I'm just gonna help us stiff it. Grab around the mouth. Billy keeps trying to pull it up, and Robbie told him we do not need to break anything. So we have to keep stopping because he keeps trying to pull it. All right, so what we've done, we've went ahead and taken out all the winch extensions. We're just gonna winch this. I'm probably gonna have Hillbilly pull forward more so that we can just winch it all the way to the top of this hill and not have any issues. Watch the winch line, have him pull forward with it disengaged so he can extend out further. That way when we pull up, we'll be at the top of this little hill. Watch out. Watch out. What happened? I don't know, I went to push the brakes. It was stiff, it also went right to the floor and it started rolling backwards. Right. Uh-oh. Oh, that's weird. What? Lost the brakes. Have no brakes. When I stopped, it, went, it was hard, and also it went to the floor. Lost brakes, but there's no puddle of fluid on the ground anywhere. Did you lose your rod? Did the rod fall out? Not that I'm aware of. No, the rod's there. No. I had it for a second, and then it went away. Now I have nothing. <laughs> We're gonna have to have someone come recover Literally, us. if it isn't one thing, it's another. You got fluid all over that side of your tire on the inside. Oh, yes, we do. Do it again. Pump it. Whoa! Stop, 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 stop. You, this is blown. So, what we need to do, do you have vice grips? You got a blown hose. We have vice grips in the tow truck. We're gonna have to rebuild you a brake line, but let's pinch something off. This line right here is blowing out right there. So what we're gonna try to do is take his brake line off and we're gonna try to fold the brake line over itself. So we have pressure on three wheels and just not the fourth. I have some good news. I just got a text message, so we have service. <laughs> oh, good. I have no service, so at Should least somebody does. What kind of mystery stuff my uncle has in this box? Yes. Never opened it. 
What? Remember yeah, brake fluid and brake lines, I'll be so happy. Brake fluid. Is that brake fluid? It is. Yep. Ah, look at that. We got brake fluid. A spare slip yoke. Radiator hose. Heck yeah. Motor oil. Bell. There's a hammer. Yeah, let's take that line off and we can bend it and hammer it on a rock. Dead serious. Matt would be so proud. We have a claw hammer. Of all tools in the world, this claw hammer is going to save our bacon today. Let's take that brake line off. He has an upper and a lower radiator hose. So he's obviously been up Crop Creek before with this truck. He's with this truck or with the previous or past truck, and so you didn't want to be there before again. Yep. He just is not like us. He yeah, is always fighter. prepared. All right. Well, that means he's been stranded before for a couple days or a couple of nights or so. That's possible. How do those stupid things? Um, where is your croissant wrench? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, the brake line is right there. It's this back one. This is why you always bring a support vehicle? Yes. I said, no for way. the record, I did say, let's bring your four wheeler tomorrow. And Hillbilly told me no. All right, so I cannot get to the top of this brake line, but I can get in here and I'm going to use this claw hammer. And Matt is going to be so proud. Because you're going to see what I'm about to do. All right, now hand me the vice grips. What is it you're trying to do? I'm trying to pinch this line off. You're going to break it? No, I'm trying to fold it. You know what? Not on hills. We're not going to check that on hills, but I think we might have three brakes. So that'll be a plus. That's more than zero. Let's unhook. So we're gonna unhook. We're gonna throw the winch line in the bed of the trekker and I'm gonna try to get a run at this. It may not work, but we're gonna try. All right, so we made it to the top of the hill that we were stuck on. We gotta get through the trees, around the little barricade and to the main road. Once we hit the main road, this this is gonna be the trail leader. Cause we don't know how long we got brakes in the trekker. Got three brakes right now, holding. Got gears and ignition switch. Yeah, well, I'd rather it be soft than go into a tree. You remember what it's like to lose brakes. We I can- I lost my people should know what I lost my like gears to too. Brakes. We can fix this truck. Yeah, we can't fix you. Just kidding. All right, well, let's load up and get out of here. Any last words, Colton? Let's get out of here. What he meant to say is he's ready to get a little rowdy. See the door got one of them off. Oh, nice. Got one of them auto openers. So it just has a mind of its own and likes to open up. So when driving a two wheel drive through an ATV trail, you gotta just go with no stop. <laughs> There's no stopping. Hey, so this is the stuff that you guys didn't get to see in the last video. Yeah, there's a tree there, so we just gotta get through them. See, right here. Careful with your mirror, too, because that light to pop shut. Ah! Oh. And we're dead again. We were off to the races there for a minute. Alright. Okay, there's a big log. We're gonna bypass that, go through the safeties. Oh, can't stop one stop. <laughs> 
Oh, I can hear the break. Can't stop. Oh, oh tree. <laughs> oh, it died. Uh, it goes that way. We were sending it that way. The minor inconvenience. We're fine. It's old, okay? It's it's hard to drive one-handed with a two-wheel drive while holding your door shut. Okay, now we're off to the racing. When in doubt. Oh, we gotta get. Oh, we. Just Here we go. The race is off. But we're not racing. No, we're gonna keep moving faster than them. So that they have to keep their momentum up. We don't get hit. My hood ain't shut all the way. You told me to leave. I know. Still coming? So far, the tracker is breaking, and Robbie and the Dodge is going just fine. I think the motor might be a little hot. You think? It's smoking. We just need to get it back to the shop. And he'll believe tailgate is not closing. It's a lot rougher going up than it was going down. All right, we're off the 50 inch trail. We're back to a main trail road that takes us to the main road. Go ahead, I'm gonna fall. We have a really bad clinking noise happening now after hauling, going real fast and bouncing stuff. You have a clinking noise? A high pitch clinking noise. Every time we hit a bump, it does it. Well, this has a lot of noises. <laughs> yeah, but one vehicle has to get us home. Preferably this one, if any of them. gonna keep going make sure to keep our door shut um, yeah all in all it's a good day up in the mountains in a two-wheel drive truck <laughs> we're gonna get it down safely but we got to be careful because we're gonna act as the lead vehicle that way if the trekkers brakes go out we can catch him and cradle him with our luck see this is what happens when the when you don't hold the door shut swing open. We can't be having that. So we made it to the main road and I don't see the trekker yet. So hopefully we're gonna give him a few minutes but we might have to go in on a recovery mission in the old Dodge. Hopefully not. Just kidding. Now I see him. They were just going slow. Tractor's making funny noises. I, I heard it the entire drive up the canyon. Going ting 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 Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> we might need this. I don't know where that came from. Right here. Oh, perfect. All right, we're at the main road. So now all we gotta do is hypothetically drive these two things down. I guess we'll see. What do you think, Colton? Oh yeah, let's go. Man, there's so many words. What do you guys think? We're gonna make it safe? Oh yeah. <laughs> Got the Badland winch all wrapped back in properly. We're back at the tow truck. This job isn't over yet. We're still at the bottom of 12 Mile Canyon above Mayfield. We got to get that Dodge truck all the way back to you from to the shop. So we were, we were going to load the Dodge on the tow truck and drive the trekker home. But with the way the brakes are, we're not taking this up on the highway, getting it at highway speeds, no way. So we'll take the old rattle trap and we'll go back to the shop. Look at all the new scratches. We made it off the mountain. We're in Manti waiting for Robbie. And I get a call and he's like, Oh, wait, I think I just ran out of gas. Just kidding, it started. So now I'm worried that he's gonna run out of gas. So now we're waiting in case he does run out of gas. We're waiting 
And then he just drove right by. All right, so we finally made it back. It took two days. We got the old Dodge recovered, but this is a prime example of why you don't take something that's two-wheel drive with bald tires down an ATV trail. So anything period, four-wheel drive or not. Yeah, anything period. If it's if it's a 50-inch trail, take a 50-inch ATV. That's it. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, go check out this one. 